Wait a minute. Got an extra piece here. What's this for? Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and put on the rest of the, the, the valve train, the rocker arms, push rods, and, uh, and that'll be it for today. But we've come a long ways today. It really looks like an engine right now, and I'm pretty excited about this it because it's just been a long process. And so here we go. Okay, uh, with these stock rocker arms uh, and fulcrum, I put a little oil. You can see those grooves, okay, and the wear pattern. I just matched up the old wear pattern and the groove, so the, obviously those are oil oil grooves. So and I just matched those up so that uh, um, it's exactly the same. So that's all I did there was match up the pattern, the groove pattern, and the uh, that wear pattern together. And the system that I used uh, when I was taking these out, I just used a 0.1, a decimal system, and I just went um, uh, I just took them out in order and said, so if it was uh, so in case we're working on right now cylinder three, one, two, and three, uh, for the intake, it would be uh, uh, three. And for the exhaust, it was 3.1. So I knew that in the order I took them out. So that's how I did that one. So it was 1, 1.1, 2, 2.1, 3. And that's the one we're putting in right now. Yeah, you have debris in this one too. So even after cleaning them, a uh, good procedure seems like to do is to, even after cleaning them thoroughly, is right before you install them, run them through the use the use the parts cleaner, and run those holes out with the with the parts cleaner pressure, and the solvent. Let's see, just like that. There we go. Because that's critical. I would have to say. Goes here. Okay. okay, we're not going to uh, tighten those down too much. I want to get everything on first. Okay. Let me tell you, show you the groove again. So you, as you can tell, see that? See those? Those are oil grooves. And put a little oil uh, where the grooves were. Okay. Put a little oil on the uh, that. Okay. Put a little oil on the screw. Again, I'm just matching up the grooves. Okay, we're back. I got uh, the left bank done, so now we're on cylinder five. Okay, see those grooves right there, and the wear pattern in the in the bottom there. Okay, so I'm trying to ma I'm matching up those with those wear patterns. Sorry, those wear patterns and. and uh, the, that groove so okay so we're at five here okay so again matching it up put a little oil putting a little oil okay in the groove area okay and then just to give it that little protection at the beginning um, okay 
Okay, so we're on five right now. Let's uh, put a little oil on the bolt. Okay. And we got this retaining, got this clip, and that's going to go here and here. And I'm, I'm not tightening them down at all because I want to adjust them later. Or uh, not really adjust them. Just make sure everything's straight before I tighten. That's it guys, got the rocker arms on. That's great. Yeah, this engine is looking great. Wait till you see some of the work, the polish work I did. So much. I think it would more want more meat on the valve stems, more contact on the valve stems than anything else. Let's uh, back these out. Okay. Let's see. Let go back a little bit. There's a little, a little sneak peek. What? It, so this is uh, this is what one of the pieces I was talking about. It's uh, it's actually um, the EGR um, uh, EGR tubing. I have actually put a little layer of copper on it. So that should look real nice on my 
aluminum uh, cleaned in an aluminum manifold that I didn't take.